<clears throat> the video release of the Laquan McDonald killing has confirm, confirmed most of our worst fears of what the dash cam could have reported. This video, which seemed to us clearly to depict a heinous crime, is not only shocking and sad, but infuriating. I have a teenage son. He has gotten tall, and like all teenagers, maybe he's from time to time done something silly. So I can't help but think of my son when I see the video of a child being shot while walking away from police officers. That makes me mad and it makes me angry. As a representative of the city of Chicago, we refuse to take part in prettifying these sorts of events. What is most disturbing and frustrating about this entire situation is that while we know the system has failed, no one can specifically say how. We must bring this to an end. The people of this city need to be fully informed about how its government will act in cases of possible violation of the public trust. We must value all of the children of the city of Chicago more than just thinking that a quick payout can solve the problem. A clear, transparent process is the only way we can begin to build trust in our communities with law enforcement. As sad as it is, especially for people of color, we know that there is more than one Laquan McDonald. While the individual facts of various cases may differ, there are many whose rights have been violated because their lives were deemed not to matter. We are witnesses to divestment in our development by our education system, to our child care subsidies, to paid sick leave, to a living wage and retirement with dignity. We have a population in this city that is the constant target of cutbacks, denigration, and broken promises. Let this case, in clear video, having been seemingly used as a ploy in a political game, become the catalyst for people to understand that you cannot change a system by ignoring a system. The right to vote that was paid for with blood still costs us blood when we do not use it. We as a people must be awake aware and well-informed and active in opposing injustice and inequality. Lastly, let us not allow this video to be diminished as the acts of one person or one entity. Poor black people are often ignored. When the media to seek to condemn people in the community for not working with law enforcement on murders, let this case be a part of your answer. When you wait almost 400 days for justice on something this clear, Yet four hours to indict a young man, Malcolm London, on felony charges. Is it any wonder that people don't have faith in this system, that the system will protect them or bring them justice? The time is now to move beyond the simple cynicism that has defined our relationship with government for so long. If you don't like something, you as a person have, the act, have to get active to change it. A voter turnout of fewer than one-third of our residents is not going to change anything. If you want to call yourself a community organizer, organize your actual community around real plans and requests for resources that can actually make a difference. If this video has inspired you to real action, we do not know what will. But I will applaud the youth in our community for the last night's actions, particularly the young man I mentioned previously, Malcolm London, who is being held in jail unjustly for exercising his First Amendment rights of assembly. He needs to be released today so that he can continue the activism that we expect our young people to be involved in. Let's not let his being arrested uh, diminish the fact that there's still injustice in our community and we look to our young people for this action. Are you I'll, refer it to, I'll now refer it to Alderman Howard Brookings. Are we'll answer the questions. Paul will answer the questions when the time is coming. Paul, chief of the police, Paul, to step down. And if you do not get out the way and let somebody do it, hey, come on, Paul. You're not going to do it. Good morning, Paul. Alderman Howard Brookings, Alderman of the Chief. Are you going to do it, Mr. Brookings? They say that justice is supposed to be blind and evil. I ain't broke the law. But in too many incidents, incidents where it involves the rich and the powerful and the well-connected, justice has been peaking and a thumb has been on the scale. 
We have seen that with this case in Laquan McDonald, and we've also seen this in the Kochman case where too many times the rich and the powerful and the connected seem to get more justice than the poor and the oppressed in the city. It is unfathomable and unacceptable that it would take a year when all of the facts in this case were known the night that it happened. It is unfathomable when there is no subjective interpretation of this video that has been out there. It is unfathomable that we would have a state's attorney and Anita Alvarez say that the reason why she had co she'd come to this decision weeks ago, but the reason why she delayed it was because she wanted to have a press conference carefully timed with the state to, with the U.S. attorney and the FBI. That is unfathomable, and that is not equal justice under the law for the people who need the most protection. This has to stop. We, as leaders of the city, have to demand better of our elected officials who are charged with protecting us all equally. It is no excuse for this type of behavior. And this has gone on and on and on and on, and enough is enough. And so, yes, Paul, the official position of this Black Caucus is that we have called for the resignation or the termination of the superintendent of police, McCarthy, and on the next city council. I personally will introduce a resolution calling for a vote of no confidence and again pushing the issue with respect to that termination. Thank you.